Jeremy Chiron is on the scene. Jeremy, first of all, talk to us a little bit more about what you are seeing where you are today. Well, Lois, we're here on Aphelion Crescent here in Barhaven, a suburb of Ottawa, and there's significant damage here. Just briefly before we get to that, I want to touch on one thing that you just mentioned, and we're just getting minutes ago an update from paramedics uh, that now one person has been injured, taken to hospital in serious, or rather stable condition. One person taken to hospital in stable condition. So that's the latest from paramedics. One person injured uh, through all of this so far. Uh, some significant damage as this tornado touched down on the capital. We heard confirmation from Environment Canada, at least one tornado. Again, this is a Philian Crescent we're on in Barhaven. I'm going to step out of the way and show you just the extent of the damage here. We start at the end of the street here with uh, one home that has busted uh, windows, that, uh, that glass has been uh, spread out on their front lawn. I was just speaking to the people that live in this house that were picking up glass from their front lawn. Then you've got next door a vehicle that's been damaged by a, a large piece of styrofoam that's come flying across the street, we've been told, um, by a from a construction site nearby. Then just down the street, you have uh, more significant damage to a home. Part of a roof has been torn off the home uh, just a few doors down. So this stretch, this street here in Barhaven certainly has been significantly impacted. Uh, as you look around, there is debris kind of all over the street. Um, these big pieces of styrofoam that have come flying from uh, nearby construction sites are kind of scattered everywhere. It's clear here that a significant storm has rolled through this area and that the tornado here has certainly caused some damage. Uh, in terms of injuries, as you mentioned, uh, only one person so far taken to hospital in stable condition. So one person injured through this. That is what we know so far. And that person was injured in Half Moon Bay, another suburb here in Barhaven nearby. So Barhaven uh, seems to be the hardest hit in the area southwest of the city's core. Uh, mm -hmm. This seems to be where that that tornado came through and the path um, made had the most destruction here. And Jeremy, a second tornado warning has been issued for the national capital region. What more can you tell us about that? Yeah, that's right. So shortly before three o'clock, a second warning was issued. It's now been uh, downgraded just to a watch, but another strong cell of weather was making its way uh, through the region. A colleague of mine here was was on scene uh, right here covering this story as officers and, and um, fire crews were telling people to take cover, get in their vehicles if they could, a uh, colleague getting in their vehicle to take cover because another storm was coming through. It would not. It does not appear yet uh, that a tornado touched down again, but certainly there was a uh, tornado warning, an Environment Canada warning that the weather pattern and what was happening there uh, was uh, strong enough to produce a tornado. So no word yet if any other tornadoes touched down. All we know uh, is that Environment Canada has confirmed that one tornado that has caused a lot of the damage behind me here in Barhaven. So what are you hearing from people in the area? Well, people were taken uh, by surprise. It sounds like this happened fast. It got dark in the area. Uh, the, the sky started to darken, and then the rain started to come down fast. And anywhere in the city, you saw that. A lot of rain falling very quickly, uh, some thunderstorms as well. Uh, but not everywhere saw the kind of winds and, of course, the tornado that hit here uh, in Barhaven. It happened very fast. People were, were uh, told to take cover as the warning went out uh, through people's phones, the emergency alert system, letting people uh, know about the tornado warning uh, but certainly many here are not expecting to see what they're seeing along their street there are hydro crews here working as well uh, hydro has been shut off to some of the homes impacted just behind us there is a hydro pole that is leaning over so crews uh, working to fix that as well certainly already it looks like there has been some significant damage uh, from this tornado just an incredible scene jeremy sharon joining us from barhaven on this thanks so much